Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing a kind of back to school reading kind of book recommendations. So we are finally getting back into the fall semester, which I think is crazy. I feel like this summer has just flown by, um, but this is like my official last semester of classes, which is really exciting. So I'm really excited about that. So here are five books that either kind of take place in school or they involve kind of um, training of some sort, some learning type of thing, or they just will inspire you in a academic setting. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So when I was talking about more of like the learning side, I first have A Blood and Bone by Nora Roberts, and this is the second book in the Chronicles of One trilogy, and I really love this trilogy. I was obsessed with it this time last year, um, but it takes basically takes place in our world where there is this virus that goes around and kills two-thirds of the population within a matter of weeks and those who are immune to this are those who have some sort of magic in them and so you can see how that can cause a lot of problems for the non-magic people but Fallon is essentially the kind of the chosen one who is the one that will put kind of the the dark you know magic kind of you know put them in their place and this one is very much focused on her learning and kind of proving herself and kind of getting in a position where she has to grow up and make these decisions and obviously kind of learn her skill and all that it's very much kind of focused on like light versus dark magic and it's rooted in kind of more natural kind of um, magic as well if that makes sense like there's no like magical wands it's very much kind of rooted like so you can you know grow stuff like you can do all these things so it's kind of rooted in that but like a big portion of this book is rooted in Fallon kind of learning she is kind of like sent out to this cottage with her teacher where she spends like the last like the next 10 years growing up and learning this kind of trade which I think is really exciting and learning kind of how to take on a leadership role so yeah I really love those kind of learning montages in books um, but yeah if you're looking for like a fun fantasy read this was very much kind of stepping outside my comfort zone but I was like honestly I really loved it so this one is a school setting and it is the Gallagher Girls series by Ali Carter. I love this series growing up. I started reading it around grade six, grade seven, and the last book came out in my first year of university. So I definitely grew up with these, this series and these characters. And I actually reread this series last year for the first time in a really long time. And it really holds up well. I have a video of that kind of experience if you want to go and check that out. But this one I love the school setting in here and it's the spy school it's this old kind of mansion that has all these little secret passageways and all that and all these girls are very much academically focused as well so I really love having books with strong female characters that you know are smart and they're not afraid to you know say that they're smart I will say the first two books are very much kind of juvenile and being like oh I'm in love with this boy but they definitely get more mature and darker as the series progresses um so just so don't be deterred by this one if you're like this is very juvenile but it gets very dark very quickly so but I love the school setting I love the kind of teachers and just the classes that they have to take and all of that stuff so this is one that is kind of like paranormal Victorian era boarding school type settings which I just love and it is the Gemma Doyle trilogy by Libba Bright. I read this back in high school and it's definitely a series that I want to reread in the future. Me and my friend are going to probably make this one of our book club picks in the near future um, but I love this. If you love kind of boarding schools like English boarding schools you will love this because it also takes place during the Victorian era and there's some paranormal aspects thrown in here as well. Again it's been so long since I read this I don't remember too much about it but I remember loving the setting of the school all girls school and just like the dresses and just that old castle feel I think is a lot of fun again I apologize because it's been oh my god I think I finished this in 2010 I want to say so it's been 11 years since I finished this trilogy and honestly I don't really 
remember that much. So this one I find is an inspiring read just for like academics and just kind of as a role model as well. And it is Becoming by Michelle Obama. In her memoir, she really much focuses on kind of her schooling and just how she ended up being, you know, very successful. And I find it so, like, it's just, I'm so at, like, admired by her you know michelle obama in general but just how her perseverance and her hard work just to get where she you know was as a lawyer i think is truly truly inspiring and i loved hearing her story and how you know difficult it was for her you know getting to like a good school and kind of overcoming all of these racial um barriers i think was very interesting as well and just her drive to you know have a very strong career and all that stuff i love it and if you're looking for like something to really inspire you for school or just with anything in life this book is honestly amazing and lastly this is kind of a dark academia university type setting which i think just makes it a lot more fun and it is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This one takes place in Yale and very much focuses on these secret societies that are involved in this very old school that kind of deal with the occult and all that stuff. So it's a lot of fun. It's not really much focused on the school itself. This one follows, I want to say Alex, yeah, it follows Alex who is kind of recruited to this school in order to you know oversee all of these kind of different secret societies and all this stuff but there is this kind of like string of murders taking place that she's trying to figure out and it kind of goes off from there it doesn't like i said it's not really focused on the school itself but it's more of like the acad dark academia side to kind of school which i really liked it was really dark and a lot of fun it is very confusing in the beginning um, just to figure out these different houses and what they do um, but it is actually quite a lot of fun so if you're looking for like a dark academia kind of feel you know in kind of a modern day university setting with some fantasy interwoven in then this is the book for you so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what some of your back to school reads are i was going to include harry potter but i feel like that one's a very obvious one so i tried to think outside the box for these but if you don't have any other kind of like books that have that school feel to it let me know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys